One of the best top three Christmas cookies to have are these butter cookies that are filled with jam. They are absolutely delicious and very easy to make. In Germany they are called Spitzbuben, so I would freely translate that to little rascals. Let's do it! We'll start with 16 ounces all purpose flour. Followed by 5.7 ounces powder sugar. Then we add 7 ounces of cold butter. Then we add 1 egg plus 1 egg yolk. Then add 2 packs of vanilla sugar and a pinch of salt. Normally you would also add some lemon zest, but I didn't have lemons, sorry. After that we can fire up the mixer. Well, I got impatient, so I went to high speed. And after about 5 minutes or so, the dough is done. Oops! Take it out, knead it a little bit and put it into the refrigerator for half an hour. Then I take half of the cold dough, knead it a little bit and press it down a little bit and then I can start rolling it out. It should be about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch thick, not thicker, not thinner. Then I take such a cookie cutter and cut out the cookies, one by one. I first tried the silicone mat without any flour, but it's a little bit too sticky, so the cookies don't lift off right away. But with a little helper that's not really an issue, so here we go. In addition, I punch a hole in every other cookie, that's for the optics. I use a tool, you normally take the middle of an apple out, but uh, quite honestly if you don't have anything that fits, you can not punch the hole and it tastes the same. I re it back together and rolled out the remaining dough and the punching continues. This time I put a little bit flour onto the silicone map and most of the time the cookie just easily lifts off without any additional tool, like here. In total I filled about three sheets with the dough I made. It's now time to put them into a preheated oven at 320 Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can see that they are done when they are not soft anymore and the edges became a little bit brown. I then pull them off the baking sheet so they don't continue to bake on the hot sheet. After a couple minutes, I put the jam on the cookie. I put the jam into a special little pot up front so I can steal the round so it becomes soft and is not as hard. And then simply apply a little bit and put a lid on it. And you can see how it looks with the red dot in the middle. That's why we punch the holes. When applying the lid, just make sure that you get a little bit of the jam on the sides of the lid so not all the jam is in the middle of the hole, otherwise the top cookie won't stick to the bottom cookie. Repeat the same for all three sheets. And here I'm just consolidating two sheets onto one, which makes it a little bit easier for the next step.
which is to simply apply some powder sugar over them and then store them away. Et voilà, done. These cookies are simple and easy and they taste very good. Some of our kids think these are the best, but my wife and I think these are actually number three in our top three ranking list. Let me know in the comments which ones you like the most. Thanks and have a good night.